The mission here at the New York Presbyterian Wild Cornell Medical Center is to offer the maximum amount of opportunities for transplantation to our patients. Areas of expertise here at Wild Cornell in kidney transplant, I think really span the full spectrum of kidney transplantation. Our transplant surgery program uh, consists of our transplant surgeons and our transplant nephrologists. Uh, we offer a superb multidisciplinary approach to providing uh, care for patients. Using research techniques that we've discovered, we're able to optimize our outcomes in an effective way. The Cornell Transplant Program was the first of its kind in, uh, in New York. Um, we do the most uh, living donor transplants um, on the East Coast. We've created a living donor transplant center offering opportunities for ABO incompatible type transplants if the situation calls for it. We'll transplant patients uh, that are high risk immunologically and potentially have a cross match that is less than ideal. We'll put them through our desensitization program and allow for transplant to go through. The availability of donor exchange is what we focused on because it allows each of those high-risk transplants to occur without the increased risk of rejection. I oversee the uh, entire team of, that works with the living donors and with the recipients. The key concepts are to get those patients who are impossible to get to transplant transplanted. Our transplant clinical research program really focuses on uh, similar concepts as our overall mission of our transplant program in terms of maximizing transplant opportunities for our patients. Majority of that focuses on our deceased donor kidney transplant recipients and ways that we can help their kidneys improve their function early after transplant as well as last longer after transplant. We've obtained the experience necessary to maximize opportunities for deceased donation by essentially utilizing as many available organs as possible. We try at every attempt possible to provide these transplants in a way that's meaningful and doesn't compromise outcomes for our patients. Our immunogenetics laboratory. This laboratory operates 24-7 and it provides the tests that are needed to perform the transplantation. This particular laboratory does primarily research tests and the research tests can be non-invasive tests. Usually if you want to know the status of an organ, you need to do a biopsy. What we have done is to develop very robust state-of-the-art molecular tests and do a test called polymerase chain reaction assay. We are able to fairly accurately predict whether a transplant is functioning well, going from a one-size-fits-all immunosuppressive therapy the highly personalized or individualized immunosuppression. We currently offer pancreas transplantation. Our approach is, is either simultaneous pancreas kidney transplant, or alternatively, some patients have a living donor, so we'll do the living donor kidney transplantation first, and then subsequently, uh, a few months later, we will pursue pancreas transplantation. The kidney donation here at the hospital is a very uh, extensive process. The potential donor undergoes the most complete medical evaluation of his or her life to that point. And they also undergo a very extensive psychosocial evaluation to make sure that they aren't being coerced into donating the kidney, to make sure that they understand the decision they're making, and to understand that we are there to make sure that the short-term and long-term effects on their health are minimal. The surgery is performed in a minimally invasive manner. We developed a technique called laparoendoscopic single site or less surgery, where we make the surgery even less invasive. We make one incision in the belly button and do the entire surgery through that. If they can get back to work sooner, if they can get back to their overall life sooner through a smaller incision, we're going to do that. I think Wild Cornell kidney transplant program is unique uh, because of our personalized approach uh, to our patients. The prospect of getting a transplant, I was scared out of my mind because I've never been operated on. We discovered that Bob was going to have to have both of his kidneys removed, which was something that we weren't expecting, but Dr. Kapoor really put us at ease. I would never go to another hospital. Patient care is excellent during the operation, you know, and after the operation, the aftercare. We can do things that very few people can do. Our transplant patients get really good care long term, not just at the time of transplant. Mm -hmm.